Is this title worth a buy or even a rent? Let's find out. So grab a slice of pizza and let's look into my review of TMNT Mutants in Manhattan. Getting this? Yeah. So, what's going on, Knights? Critical Redemption here. Let's talk about the story. So, when I heard that there was going to be a new Turtles game, I couldn't have been happier, seriously. By Platinum Gaze with the Transformers game, it gave it a great hope, but little did we know, um, it didn't turn out to be what it was. So, Shredder and Krang are planning an invasion of New York City, and it's up to the Turtles to go and stop them. Uh, cliche story, I mean, nothing new uh, there really, and you'll pass through each stage at the speed of light. I mean, seriously, you go so fast through these stages, you, you'll be so confused and be like, wow, I just finished this? Um, but that's how it is. This game will do this to you. Um, some of the some good voice actors are in here, including Nolan North as Leonardo and also Shredder. Uh, that's the only good thing about this. Uh, nothing new really, like I said. If you've ever played any of the One Piece Samurai Warrior games, the pace may be familiar to you. Dodge but for right many the with uh, the to con controls and everything, uh, nothing special. Like members of the Foot Clan will appear or Mausers will emerge you and you'll have trouble spotting them straight away. But this story is comic book related, so it's got that comic book look to it. So there really isn't much for the story. Like I said, Shredder and Krang are planning invasion of New York and the turtles have to stop them. And of course, Master Shredder is there to guide you. So that's pretty much it for the story. Very cliche, like I said. Um, really nothing else much to talk about in the story. So let's move on. Gameplay, on the other hand, will get very repetitive very fast, and unfortunately, I don't want to say that, but it's the truth. Um, many of the things that you do will be running around in a relatively small level area with certain challenges popping up. Then you need to complete in order to reach the end of stage boss, so it's kind of very quick, and like you'll also be protecting pizza, a van, disarming a bomb, fighting off waves of foot soldiers, tons of foot soldiers, so there's quite varied, so it does offer a challenge at times, but it's also frustrating that the camera angles take a great deal of fun out of the control scheme, and both for the challenges and the combat, so that's something really that got annoying to me. Don't get me wrong, I love how the it looks, and I also like how you get to fight as every single turtle that's in the game and listen to them with their comic relief and Michelangelo being funny but it doesn't change the fact that the combat does feel different between the characters which is a good thing but also with Raphael being stronger than the others and Michelangelo being a lot faster but after three to four stages the fighting feels repetitive and seriously uninspiring I mean you have a normal attack and a strong attack with an upgrade and ninjutsu <laughs> attacks but also causing most of the damage so let's say each of the turtles has four of these attacks and depending on the kind of character they are these moves will focus on the hiding attributes so there is upgrading and also interchanging these attacks but in the loadout screen they'll also help you to mix things up a little but generally the combat doesn't feel that different and that was a huge downfall for me uh, there are some good features when it comes to defense but you can climb walls, I mean glide through the air and travel along railings and phone lines. I mean that's cool, but also helping you to get where you want to go a lot easier is simply running. Uh, pairing and dodging plays a big role. And there's also a great deal of fighting and hulking brutes like Slash. So that's something really cool that you get to see. Most people want to know, is this game open world? No, it's very level based.
So in the graphics department, it's very comic booky. Uh, you'll see that the art style makes some of the game's frustrations. I mean, the cell shaded is very cool, but the running and the environments and characters give the visuals a sharp and colorful appeal. But on the other hand, Knights, the overall feel and sharing a little comment with previous iterations of the TMNT is cool. I mean, it reminds you of the Nickelodeon cartoons at sometimes the comparison, but the tone of the story and the art style is reminiscent more to the comics. So, like I said, it's it's good. I mean, it's cool to see that it's comic book related and the graphics they were going for that route. So I really, I mean, I don't, I can't complain much about the graphics. So where there's ga this game shines is the voice acting. It's probably where the mutants in Manhattan shines the most. So you got heavyweight voice actors like Nolan North from Uncharted, Gavin hum uh, Hammonds as the Walking Dead involvement, and Brotherly Bond is portrayed really well, and I really like that. And also the the very comic book look, I really enjoyed that. It would instantly be a better game if local co-op was featured. You can go online and play with others, but there's no real thing you could do i mean teaming up with your friends on your sofa is so much more appealing than over the internet but it's a shame that mutants in manhattan doesn't hit the mark in my honest opinion i mean it could have been such a better game night seriously coming from a huge ninja turtles fam here if the feature had more if this game had more diverse levels local co-op and a much longer experience uh campaign it would be a lot better. I know Transformers Devastation wasn't the longest games either, but depending on the difficulty, you can finish the game in 9 levels in less than 5 hours, which is a massive letdown in my opinion. Needless to say, Knights, this won't be the Turtles game you want to be shouting from the sewers about. But if you are a huge Turtles fan, and you definitely want to pick this up, then by all means go for it. If you want to just rent it then go for it do i recommend this game no i do not recommend buying this game i recommend if you're gonna buy it make sure it goes super super down on the price maybe buy it for 10 bucks it's not even worth a full price tag for 60 bucks it's it feels more like a dlc than it feels like an actual game um, like I said, the only things I positive things I liked were the voice acting and also the cel shaded graphics, and it, you know some of the dialogue was very funny. But overall, I give this game a 6.5 out of 10. Not something I would buy. Uh, I got to play it through a rental, so I definitely would pass on this. You could beat the game in five hours. Until next time, guys. Appreciate the views and appreciate the comments. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys nights very soon. Critical Redemption out. Don't forget to eat some pizza and happy gaming. Take care.